Hey, what's up everyone? This is Arcado. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on the Polygame Master systems. I have a Polygame Master 1 and a Polygame Master 2 system to show you today. Uh, the very first one I have right now is the PGM1 motherboard. I did a video on this earlier, on the previous earlier with the Marshall Masters, but I'll do it again for this one. So right here is the PGM motherboard and this is a cartridge right here. What you do is you insert it like this and you click it. It's very similar to uh, the Neo Geo and VS1 single slots. It's also a JAMA base uh, system. Here is the reset button and you have the volume knob right here to adjust the volume and you got the dip switches and right here is the connection to connect a uh, four player link cable so you can have uh, two arcade cabinets for four player action uh, here is the cable right here so this is the cable that you connect it to the motherboard and you just kind of insert it just like this it's really easy and it snaps in like that and this right here goes to the other arcade cabinet. So for example, this right here, you connect your arcade cabinet number one, and this will allow you to have two players, one player one and player two. And this cable goes to the other jam harness for arcade cabinet number two. And this allows you to have player three and player four available. So this is the Polygame Master motherboard. Now here is the motherboard for uh, the PGM2. So this is the PGM2. It's uh, similar. I believe there's another color blue and I from what I've been told it doesn't really matter which system you have. It's just the color. So you can have compatible PGM2 games. And you can only play PGM2 games because uh, on this one they decided to change the way you insert the cart, the game. So this one you actually have to snap it in, in from the top. So it's very similar to the, the Taito F3 motherboards if you're familiar with that or the Naomi cartridges. You just put it in like this and then you can hear it snapping. Or, or I didn't hear it snapping but you, you'll know it's in. It's a lot more compact than the, the first one and it has exactly the same features pretty much there's the dip switches the volume and right here is the reset button i believe you can just click on that and it'll reset your motherboard without having to power it off and over here is also the connection to have a four player link cable and here this is the newest feature it allows you to have a card reader so what is a card reader and I'll show you right now. Alright, so I, this is a card reader right here. Um, this is for player one and player two. What you do is you connect this to this uh, connection right here. And when you connect it, that's it enables it to be used. So what you use this for is actually to sit your, for your saved data on certain games. For example, Oriental Legends 2. Uh, how do you save it? Well, you need to get one of these um, data cards. Uh, they cost about two dollars a piece, but they usually sell them in uh, bundles of ten. So twenty bucks and what you do is uh, this little gold strip right here that's the way you have to insert it in so for example this is player one and you would have to insert it like this now um, when you have the game boot up uh, when, you have, when you insert your credit they'll give you a time limit and it shows actually a picture of 
a card going into one of these. They're letting you know that you have the option of using a card. And what this does, for example, is um, the character I'm using now is this chick who has a, an umbrella. And I have her on level 13. So the next time I boot up the game and I have this inserted, I, instead of starting back to level 1, I'll be on level 13. And a lot more powerful and uh, the game will be a lot easier a little bit more. But I'm not really sure yet if you can actually continue off uh, where you left off last, where you died, because uh, I was playing it for about an hour almost, and I still wasn't done with it, and I, yeah, I had to do something, so I turned it off, and then I tried to boot it up again, and it it started me back to the where, to the original level, the very beginning. So, but I was on level 13. It was a lot more easier, but. Yeah, it's kind of sucky that I, I couldn't continue where I was left off. And another bad thing about it is that um, you can only use these cartridges 500 times. So I'm not really sure what happens when it hits 500. I'm thinking this will no longer be valid. So my high level character is going to be pretty much you're not able to use them anymore. So that kind of really sucks. But it also kind of adds a uh, replay value, so it allow you to actually switch off and try to get another character, you know. So and say you're tired of this chick and you want to get the guy with the spear and you want to level him up. But I'm not sure if you could reuse it with this card, but I'm probably guessing you can't. But um, yeah, it's a really cool feature. Um, one of, I, I, I don't know if America ever did that. I think they did that with the Initial D uh, racing game series, but I never really had a chance to try those out. So, yeah, so that's the PGM 1 and PGM 2. Oh, actually, here's one more thing that I need to add to it. This right here is an additional cable to connect to your PGM 2 motherboard. What this does is, um, actually it's not this one, it's, hold on, yeah, it's actually this one right here, it, it's, uh, it's very similar to that four player link cable for the PGM-1, but this one has a connection to add another one, another card reader, so it kind of looks like that. So now you have the option of having player 3 and 4, but also have a card reader available for that, those uh, systems too. And just to note, these are different sizes when it comes to connecting these um, link cables, the four player link cables. Uh, so you cannot use player 1, I mean PGM1 uh, motherboard with these cables. They don't fit. So that's, that's something you need to know about. So um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'll probably do another video on uh, the Oriental Legends 2 so you guys can see how it looks and I'll probably hook it up to two arcade uh, cabs just so you also have a general idea how they look when they're connected linked. And um, yeah, till next time, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and peace out.